Hello again. You have now heard a great deal about the Building with Nature philosophy and its applications in different environments. You know that Building with Nature involves choosing to use natural materials and ecological processes to enhance infrastructural designs, their operation and their maintenance. It can also involve creating opportunities for nature to establish itself or recolonize and restore habitats. You've also learned to translate strategic goals to operational targets at each stage of the Building with Nature design process. But what does this all mean? How do you use natural materials and processes to enhance a design and offer opportunities to nature? What does this mean in terms of the functional requirements of a design project? And when is something building with nature and when isn't it? Well, in the next series of knowledge clips, the essentials of ecological thinking will be explained. You'll learn about ecological processes and ecosystem functioning. And that building with nature solutions seek to utilize the reinforcing feedback formed by an hydraulic infrastructure creating favourable abiotic conditions for the re-establishment of an ecosystem. This re-establishment occurs either through recolonization from natural stock or by human intervention. In turn, this leads to enhanced operation of the hydraulic infrastructure. That's the Building with Nature plan, and so the cycle continues. The enhanced operation of the hydraulic infrastructure should lead to a balancing effect with the maintenance of the infrastructure. It's the task of the hydraulic engineer to seek out how natural processes or materials can enhance the operation of the infrastructure in the long run and how this can be balanced with maintenance. Further, I would encourage you to explore the boundaries of the Building with Nature concept in your project designs and through questions to lecturers. Make this your own Building with Nature Design Project.